hello my people welcome once again to spicy top with tonwa dia guys i just want to quickly talk about this video that has been circulating a video uh, uh wisdom macaulay and his elder brother made concerning his own sister coming now to shade annie before the whole world thinking he's embarrassing her but embarrassing himself this is Wisdom Macaulay coming now to say shameful thing about Annie Macaulay because Annie is married to Two-Face Dibia, so she, she has to carry the entire family responsibility. Imagine a grown man who is supposed to be uh, responsible for his sister, waiting for his sister to feed him and his family. He has three children, yet he is waiting for Annie to come and feed him, his wife and his three children. Look at what he's saying that Annie refused to give him a car. He has been begging uh, Annie for a car for how many years so he can do Uber. Can't he go, I mean, can't you go and buy your own car? Go for higher purchase or even rent a car from someone? You don't have to own a car to do Uber. The car doesn't have to be yours. So why is this guy coming now to tell the whole world that Annie is a wicked and a violent woman because she refused to give him money as he wanted? I'm sure Annie must have doing, been doing her best, but these people are leech. They just want to milk her dry. They want to suck her dry. Annie is not the first woman to be married to a celebrity. Annie has suffered with Two-Face Edibia for years until God blessed them. Can't they just give this couple a breathing space? Annie is not perfect. She's a woman. She has a weak side. She has a weakness. But for Christ's sake, can these people let Annie be? Can they let Annie Edibia be? He is saying that Annie introduced him to drugs. How can your junior sister introduce you to drugs? Are you a baby? Do you still suck breast? That Annie will have to put drugs into your mouth. Annie made this man her manager, but he was misbehaving. Annie decided to sack him. Uh, to, to sack him. This is what family members do. You give them a job. You give them to be responsible. They will not take it serious because they feel, after all, you are a family member. You can't do anything to me. You can't sack me. Annie decided to sack this guy. And here he is, you know, shamelessly, shamelessly trying to, to shade her before the whole world. Now he's claiming that Annie is threatening his life and that of his wife and his children. I mean, imagine the ghost. This man is even shame, sh so shameless. He is not married to that woman officially. He has not paid her bride price. He's waiting for Annie to give him money to go and marry. Yet he has three children from this woman. How shameless. How shameless. A senior brother, you are a disgrace to all the firstborns. You are a shame to all the firstborn. You are a shame to men. Look at him. A full grown man, he is not disabled, yet he is waiting for his younger sister to come and feed him, to help him marry his wife. Ah, shame. This is just too embarrassing. This is too embarrassing. Guys, I will play the clip now, put the audio now so that you, you listen to what this, this drug addict is saying. Annie introduced him to drug. Annie is a violent person. Annie is this, Annie is that. Come on, go get a life and leave this woman alone. Guys, before I go, don't forget to give me a, a thumbs up and then share this video if you can. Let me know your opinion. Don't forget to subscribe and to also leave your notification bell on so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Here, guys, play, listen to his audio. Hello, Nigerians. My name is Wisdom Macaulay. I'm elder brother of Annie Macaulay Didier. I'm crying out for help now. At this moment, my life is being threatened. I have been working with my sister for some time, but she will never pay me my dues. She would rather send me 20,000, 30,000, turn me to her slave. And at the end of the day, she can decide when she's angry, to end it. Last, some weeks back, husband sent me some money, gave me some money. I've been begging him for years. The money wasn't a, so much, but I used it to settle my home. I have a wife. In most states, I am sorry. They have not come to do the right thing. They have not come to me pay your daughter's dowry. It's not because I don't want to. It's because I've been manipulated for many, many, many years. Annie introduced me to drugs. Hard drugs. Annie takes drugs. She's a drug addict. She takes it every day. She is so violent. And what and it is the same thing, the same way she doesn't have peace with anybody. She quarrels everybody. She fights everybody. I defended her. I defended her because I love her as a sister. But I now realize that she doesn't even have love or any good intentions for me. I wasn't around for two weeks. I came back 
because I had my own issues I was trying to sort. I came back, begged my sister that we should continue with the things that the work and everything. She decided to take everything away from me. She took away the job. She wouldn't give me a car. I've been begging my sister for a car to do Uber for many years now so that I can at least on my own provide for my family, provide for my wife and my three children. My sister has never responded to me. I came back to beg her, okay, let me continue with the job, the manager job that she offered me. She offered me to be her manager. But then at the end of the day, she turned me to her errand boy. She turned me to a slave. Annie is evil, like she will not, she, she doesn't want me to be able to stand on my own. Then this afternoon, after she sent me out of the house, I heard that she went on social media to say I beat her. Nigerians, if I beat Annie inside Two Faces house, will I be able to sleep in Richmond Estate, in Legoshi, for one night? I was there for five, for six, for six days, begging my sister for an opportunity to work, opportunity to feed my children, opportunity to stand on my own, but she will not give me a chance. Every slight opportunity, she will call my wife and insult my wife. She insults everybody. She is violent. Every night she's on drug. Every day she's on drug. Even as she's reading this, even as she's hearing this now, she knows that I'm saying the truth, that she's ordering for crack. She introduced me to it. I was never like this. And sometimes it got, got, got into my head. I believe that, okay, as a sister, maybe she had good intentions. If you go back to my previous pictures, this is not how I look. This is not who I am. At the end of the day, she now took away the only opportunity for me to be able to feed my own family from me because she doesn't want me to be able to stand on my own. This morning, I've been begging Annie for the least car in her, in her compound, the least car to do Uber, that at the end of the day, I'll come and drop it for her. At least be able to provide for my family. My sister refused. And she got me frustrated when she told me I can no longer work for her. She will no longer help me. Just because I did not go for one week of which I was calling her. The moment she realized that her husband gave me small money, she now she blocked every means of communication with me and set me up to lose the only way that I can feed my children. Nigerians, I am crying. I am begging. I am begging for help. I just want to be able to stand on my own. As I when I was leaving her house, after she told me to leave this morning, I took the car with a mindset that I will use it for Uber and refund it to her and, and, and returning it back to her. But she sent her driver with some boys with knives. Nigeria, she sent her driver with knives and Godwin, her driver, with knives. They were hitting the car, hitting the car, so I was afraid. I did not know what was happening. I now parked the car somewhere and ran for my dear life. Nigerians, she now called the police to tow the car to Ogombo, Ogombo police station. As I'm speaking to you now, she has sent threats everywhere. My life is at risk, my wife's life is at risk, my family, my children, everybody's at risk. Please, I want Nigerians to know today that if anything happens to me or any member of my family, it is not far from Annie. I need help. Please, I need help. I beg, I beg. I need help. I cannot continue like this. I'm scared. I don't know what she's going to do next. She's on drugs. She's on drugs. She's so violent. Annie is so violent. Annie is so ill-tempered. Annie is so angry with everybody. She fights everybody from her in-laws. Even her own mother cannot stop to her. Even my wife, Doris, she insults my wife at every slight opportunity because she's the one at the end of the day that will say, okay, take 20,000 naira and eat and I only ask for an opportunity to be able to do something for myself and the same car she sent people that train almost killed me this afternoon and now she has towed the car to the police station Nigeria's please I need help please please